For so many families, maybe even yours, college costs are a big worry. I hear it over and over again in Q&A sessions for the many college nights that I give to high schools across the country. Thousands of people like you who have responded to our annual College Hopes and Worries survey right here at the Prince Review have voiced that same concern when we ask, what's your biggest concern about applying and attending college? Among the answer choices, won't get into my first choice college, will get into my first choice college, but I won't be able to afford to attend, will take on a high level of debt to pay for my college degree, will attend a college that the student or parent may not be happy about. The number one concern among students and their parents that we surveyed was level of debt to pay for college. And that was the answer most chosen among respondents last year and the year before, and the year before that, and the year before that, and before, and before, and one more before for seven years. The level of debt to pay for college has been the biggest worry among college applicants and their parents. We get that the average debt that college students graduated with last year was a little over $31,000. That's a lot of dough to pay back for your degree even though the stats suggest that your college degree is going to pay you back in spades. A bachelor's degree is worth $2.8 million on average over your lifetime, and bachelor's degree holders earn 84% more than those with high school diplomas alone. That's according to the Georgetown University Center on Education and Workforce. Still, just because the average student borrows $31,000 for college before graduation, that doesn't mean your debt load has to be so high. Paying less for college is definitely doable and a very worthy goal indeed. To that end, we do a ton of homework each year to help students just like you identify colleges that will enable you to pay less for college and that offer the best ROI, the best return on your investment of not just time, but also dollars. Every year for the last 13 years, we name the best value colleges. We profile 75 of them in our book, Best Value Colleges. Here's our latest edition featuring 75 schools that give you the most for your money. Plus, our best value colleges for 2020 website feature reveals a list of 200 colleges that we recommend overall. From the more than 650 schools we considered, the 200 we chose are truly standouts for a combination of superlative features they all offer. Great academics, affordability, of course, financial aid, and career services, as well as favorable statistics for student debt, graduation rates, alumni salary, and much, much more. In all, we crunch more than 40 data points to select our 200 best value colleges. We also create seven ranking lists naming the top colleges in special categories from best financial aid to best career placement to best alumni network. Each school also gets an ROI rating, return on investment. That rating draws from payscale.com data with from alumni surveys covering starting and mid-career salaries as well as career social impact, along with that school's ratings for academics, financial aid, and overall college costs. So are you curious to know which school made it to the top of our best value colleges ranking list for 2020? Drum roll, please. It's Vassar College, Poughkeepsie, New York, ranked number one on our best financial aid list. More than 60% of its students receive financial aid and the average freshman need-based scholarship grant that Vassar awarded last year was nearly $52,000. And folks, that's a grant, not a loan, and that's the average. Plus, Vassar has a need-blind admission policy, meaning that your financial situation is not a consideration when admission teams decide whether to admit you. And let's talk about the number one ranked school on both our best schools for internship and best alumni network ranking list. It's Wabash College in Indiana. Now at Wabash, 86% of students serve one or more internships by the time they graduate. And the school's Schroeder Center for Career Development places students in internships across the country. 
And if networking is your thing, Wabash has a robust and active 673,000 member alumni association. Our best value colleges ranking list also highlights schools with high graduation rates because let's face it, the value of a college education is very closely tied to that bachelor's degree that you receive at the end. And I'm pleased to report that the nearly 9,000 students at the University of Notre Dame, also in Indiana, 94% graduate within four years. That's the highest rate in the country among private schools. And on the public side, the University of Virginia, serving more than 16,000 students, has a very impressive 89% four-year graduation rate. If you're curious about the graduation rates at schools that you're considering or their generosity with financial aid or the cost of attendance, you can find all of this information and a whole lot more on our college profile pages on PrincetonReview.com. Anyway, a winning combination, if ever there was one, a high graduation rate paired with a low cost of attendance. Here are two of our 200 best value colleges that have the distinction of being among the most affordable in the country. Among the private schools we feature, Brigham Young University, the cost of attendance at BYU for one year is just $13,700. That's the tuition plus room and board. And among public colleges, the cost of attendance for a year at the University of Florida runs about $16,600 for tuition plus room and board if you're a Florida resident. Now listen, I know I'm coming at you with a whole lot of data and it can be mind numbing. Maybe we should say mind numbering. In fact, that's a big part of why we've sorted and ranked schools for you in our best value colleges to help you narrow down your search based on the topics that matter most to you. Please know that if you do your research looking for an academically excellent school that's also a financial fit, you can afford to go to college. Folks, from all of us here at the Princeton Review, we are rooting for you. And of course, subscribe to our channel to get great expert advice on college and a whole lot more. Be sure to check out our videos about how to pay for your higher education.